business. We have to get that data and do something about it, right? Because if you if you if you if you look at, uh, at the end, uh, thirty percent that get responses, fifty one had positive reaction after. So if your business gives a response to that negative comment, the comes the consumer will have fifty one percent of giving a positive feedback on that one. And thirteen percent deleted their negative post, which is well, doesn't work on the internet. <laughs> when you post on the internet, it lives forever. But uh, at least they do something about it. So Twitter, for instance, uh, we have uh, almost 4,000 tweets per second. At the beginning, it was like 2,000 per day. Now we have 4,000 per second. Uh, we have peaks for almost 20K tweets per second on FIFA World Cup or something big like that. Uh, one tweet. This is interesting. Uh, when we had 140 characters, we all know that, but the message actually gets 540 bytes because of the encoding, and we don't, we are not even thinking about the, the raw data that goes to the database. So storing all that data uh, uh, requires a lot of storage, right? So we have to deal with that on, on when we think about social media, and social data, how to uh, process that. Uh, and we are not even talking about Facebook or Google Plus here. This is a very interesting code. It's not information overload, it's future failure, right? Uh, there's a lot of information on social media. We have to know how to get it and what to get it. Because if we get a lot of data and we don't, we, we don't know what we are getting, processing that much data is gonna be even worse. <coughs> so, I was wondering if I could use enterprise integration patterns to actually uh, get that data and do something about it. So uh, I was thinking, I can read status updates on Twitter, I can filter based on keywords, I can uh, identify the issue that the user is having with the customer, uh, then I can route to someone that can give him a response based on that experience, reply if possible, in store for future conversation. Uh, and then we can customize as needed. So thinking about that, I came up with a camel Twitter component a few years ago, 2009. I blogged about this, which is actually the title of the session from 2009. Uh, trying to, uh, uh, wondering if we could use those patterns to process that, that, that data. So I submitted to Apache, uh, the TK ML 1520. I was at the Apache Con 2009. I talked to the committers about this idea. And uh, there was a challenge. Because the committers said, you know what? Why just Twitter? Why not every social media? But, you know, I thought, yeah, sure. So I came up with Camel Social. The goal was simple, a component that could be able to uh, get data from any social network. The, the URL uh, uh, was beautiful, like social, the social provider and parameters got to be like beautiful. But, I mean, this, this is the, uh, the example that I, I was wondering about. Let's say I want to tweet something, so I'm gonna send uh, some, some information coming from that endpoint that goes to social, <coughs> Twitter provider, and the status. Uh, that's, that, 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 was, that was the original idea or something to Facebook, or searching events on Facebook. So, oh, by the way, this is the Scala um, DSL. So this was the original idea, but uh, it failed. It failed because it's not easy to standardize the social data that comes from different social networks. It's not easy. The Spring Social team uh, they are work, working really hard on that, and uh, from my understanding, it's not, uh, they have different APIs for each social network. Well, if you, if you do that, that's okay. <coughs> so then I would have to come up with each component from Camel for each social network that would work. But doing one, one abstract API for every social data, that's impossible, right? So, uh, it could bring the component back to life. If someone of you are interested about this project, I, I 
welcome you to get the code and, and try to finish. But uh, this guy, he, he was thinking like me, it's not easy to do an abstract API for every social network. So he called me, sent me an email, uh, uh, and uh, he asked me to upload the code to GitHub so we could work together. And uh, the original code is on my GitHub. And uh, also another guy, uh, this is Brett Meyer, uh, he just joined the uh, Hibernate team from Red Hat. Uh, Ryan, uh, Eugene Ryan, uh, he added support for this Twitter streaming API, which I'm going to present to you on the demonstration. So I, I owe a lot for these guys, and uh, none of them could come to Java One, but uh, uh, I'm really I really appreciate the, the help they gave me. So final version, 2010, uh, 2.10. That's the, the version that uh, uh, provides camel to you. You can, with that version, that component, you can uh, uh, tweet updates, you can search, you can connect to the streaming API, you can uh, read direct messages, you can read, uh, this is interesting, you can read retweets, mentions, or the home timeline of, of some user. Of course, all that provided by the Twitter 4J API uh, library. <coughs> Uh, it got uh, an Apache, Apache license recently, so that's why uh, also enabled the component to be uh, available from the Apache Software Foundation. So if you if you if you, rem uh, if you remember the, the social component, it's quite the same, but of course behind of that, it, it, that there's an API very tight to Twitter 4J and Twitter itself, but the idea is the same. So here we want to send a um, tweet from JMS. We just put this line on a route using Scala, and then every string that comes from that uh, JMS queue will go to uh, the Twitter uh, status update. If I want to read tweets, I can pull every five seconds and log the tweets. That's, I think it's, uh, 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 does anyone of you have worked for uh, with Twitter for j before? Nope. It's not that easy <laughs> to, to get tweets from Twitter for J, it's at least five lines of code. But uh, with the components, really easy. Uh, here I want to do dynamic search on Twitter. This is a, a feature that I provided uh, recently, uh, before a few weeks before they, they released the 2.10 version uh, to provide dynamic keywords. Uh, this is this is wrong. From that endpoint. If it comes with a header, that header has the dynamic keyword that I'm going to search. So then I can do uh, whatever I want. I don't have to change the, the endpoint uh, every time I want a, new, a different keyword. So uh, I think I'm, okay, I think we have time. Uh, so I'm gonna do the Twitter demo for you. Um, I don't know if, you, uh, if any of you was uh, getting my tweets on Twitter, I actually put the demo online. It's bit.ly Java One Live. So this is the, 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 the application running on Amazon EC2. Uh, it has a HTML5 front line connection with WebSockets to Apache Camel. And Apache, what Apache Camel does for every tweet that comes from from Though that search, Java 1, OW, it sends a message, a JSON for every user connected on the WebSocket server. So it's very, very, very simple code. It, it, was, uh, it was originally coded by Off he, uh, he came up with this during the Olympics. So what he did was a, 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 a page like this one was searching uh, Olympics. So when we click, uh, we can see uh, the bigger image. All right, so let me show you the demonstration. So what I'm going to do here is run the same code that I'm running on Java One Live. I hope it works. I use, I like to use Maven a lot.
No, uh, it's wrong. Uh, let me start the other one, the other uh, symbol. Uh, this one. You know, when you work with Twitter and you want to make a demonstration, you have to be careful which keywords you're going to choose for the demo because people are nuts on Twitter. They post weird stuff. I mean, really. I mean, is there, how many women are there? I'm sorry for asking this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Damn. <laughs> I mean, if I just put like pig from pictures, uh, I get so many pictures being posted on Twitter, like 40 pictures per second. But for every 10 pictures, two are just not rated. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. People are crazy on Twitter. I mean, I, I think Twitter is the most porn server on the internet. Really. <laughs> Uh, I lost myself here. So. <laughs> All right, uh, let me change the keyword. Uh, TBC on Camel, searching for Batman. Can anyone give uh, some term that I could search for? Java 1? Yeah, people are not tweeting pictures in Java 1. <laughs> I mean, people are just tweeting, not picturing. Uh, right, let's see. Let's see what's trending on Twitter now. Let's see if we can get pictures from trends. Okay. Uh, um, so, oh, uh, yeah, I'm the job one point. All right, it's trending National Boyfriend Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's risky, it's risky. <laughs> Should have plugged beer here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, let's see, beer. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah, National Boyfriend Day. <laughs> I, oh, I'm gonna take the rest tag off. Just beer. There's also a porn beer category. You know? <laughs> Somebody comes up with that someday. Alright. <clears throat> There you go. We are connected online and streaming through WebSocket. Oh, this is the disclaimer. <laughs> but it's in Portuguese, all right? Let's, let's say forward. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it sounds good. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Damn. <laughs> Not beer. <laughs> Alright, next no for the <laughs> Damn. Let's see. The hashtag was still in there. Well, I put the hashtag. Yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, uh, well, it's trending on Twitter, so. Well, let's see how that goes. <laughs> oh, this claimer again. <laughs> <laughs> see how hard is it? <laughs> Obama. 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 That's good. That's good. Obama. Is there any meat room support here? No. All right. Let's see Obama. No. What? There's <laughs> someone supporting him. There's Obama. <laughs> let's see. When I started working on this demo, I was like, man, like the humanity has no way to go. It's like, <laughs> destiny are doomed. Normally the demo would fail in different ways, but you would different way. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Obama. Oh, Dexter. I love Dexter. All right, see, porn again. But soft porn at least. Okay, uh, Justin Bieber, is that you? <laughs> yeah. So, so what he the, what what the the, the the route does is actually it, it's it's scoring the tweets. Can you see the, the number going up? 
So, so it's actually connecting all the tweets, and for every tweet that it gets, it, it checks if it has images on it. And then the first image, he sends uh, a JSON object through WebSocket to the page. <laughs> yeah, Obama, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Uh, you, can, you can put like a huge monitor on your uh, uh, room and see what's going on in the internet, you know? Kind of uh, light. Porn life. <laughs> it's, it's funny. So let's, let's see some code. Uh, let's see uh, how this works. I'm gonna show you a little bit of Java DSL first, and then I'm gonna show you this color version of the same route that I, that I created here. So this is the, the main code for this. Let me explain to you. All right, so can, you, can you people back there read the, the, the text? No? Good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, let me put up your phone here. Uh, font size, font size, colors and fonts. General appearance. What? Yeah, general appearance, both of them under basic. 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 Oh, okay. I think this works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the route, the Java DSL route. You see, uh, first, uh, let me just explain to you. The, the, I have a processor for just the statics that I'm, I'm getting from Twitter. So I keep an instance, an object uh, on memory, getting the, those uh, uh, stats. So it's a, a very simple uh, processor. So. Let's say, so this is the, the processor. For every exchange that goes through him, through it, uh, if it's a status, I just increase the tweet count. If it's, if it's a tweet, that's a, my uh, internal class that, because it was already filtered with an image, then I increase the image and tweet count. That goes into that static object, which is uh, just a pojo, right? So I keep, also I keep the started on uh, property that I can get the, uh, the uptime. Uh, some of you are seeing the uptime down, uh, right uh, at the end of the page. So, so if I want to clear, just call the clear method. So, all right, coming back to the route. So for every, for every tweet that I get from the route, uh, this is the simple route. I uh, using the type event that actually connects to Twitter, which opens a streaming channel that tweets sends me. Uh, the component has a few options. Uh, it can be an event like that. It can be pooling. So your component, your endpoint will connect to Twitter every uh, amount of time. Uh, there's a, an option to filter, to automatically filter old tweets that you are getting again. Uh, it's true by default. So then I send to SEDA images, which is an endpoint and a synchronous endpoint, right? This one. So for every change that comes through this route, I extract the image, I call the static processor to get data that I, that I want to, to save, and then I filter the body from this part on, only tweets with image will continue. Then I make a throttle, I make it slower, so then I want like uh, send a bunch of data through WebSockets. Uh, Marshall with JSON, and then I send it to WebSocket. To all to the all to all the, 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 the clients connected, you see there's a, an option here, send to all. Right, because WebSocket, uh, uh, some of you may know, uh, WebSocket can be disabled to send just for a particular uh, connected user. Um, what else? Oh, this, if the statistics, they are sent to the WebSocket uh, using quarks. So every second, I send the statistics through WebSocket in a different WebSocket channel on the same page. Uh, so then I have that update on the top, 
on the bottom is just a JavaScript that gets the, the, the date that the server started on, and then a JavaScript just keeps going up. Uh, what else? I have a WebSocket for statistics, so I can send a, a, a message to JavaScript that clears the statistics. And uh, also I have something really cool that is an API that enables me to change dynamically the route of the, 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 the of my my program here. So if I send a WebSocket message with that starts with search and then something, I remove uh, where's the route? Add two words, add routes. Where's the remove route? It has to be some, some oh here remove route. So it's so when I get a message from WebSocket that says sample or search, I'm able to stop the route, remove that, and add a new route dynamically in runtime, right? The, the, the component in the, the, the framework is able to do that. Uh, all right, uh, what else? Oh, here's the, the component being configured. Uh, and then I have the access token, consumer, and so on and so on. So this code, if you want to take a look at it, all right, Obama. Uh, if you want to look at it, it's on this code, this particular Java code is on GitHub Bruno Borges slash TDC on camel. Okay, uh, this is uh, the, 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 the specific code that I presented in the last, the last conference I gave a talk in Brazil before coming here. And this is the Java version of the route. So TDC on camel, Bruno Borges at uh, slash TDC on camel. Now I'm gonna show you the Scala version of that route. You see how much code was in there? So, well, I, I, uh, when I saw the announcement of Java 7, the Lambda expression, I was uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I won't be in Scala anymore. Which is good. But you have to wait two years. What? You have to wait two years. I have to wait two years. Okay, it's Scala then, for a while. Yeah, I, I, I'm a Scala fan as a developer. I'm a Scala fan. Uh, okay, so this is the Scala version. All right. Uh, so this Scala version is a, a no, not this version. I'm sorry. Uh, I have two demos here. One is the one that is online on Amazon, which is the Java One Live, and the other one is uh, tune tuned version. Route. Okay. So, when you connect to the server for the first time, so let's say uh, literally Java One Live, you see that you already got a few images, right? Because that came from the server giving you the last 10 or uh, 12 images that they got for you. I added this feature last night. Uh, because uh, what was happening is that we were connecting to the page and we were getting nothing until someone actually posts something on Twitter. So the page would stay like nothing going on for a while. So I just added that. So I came up with this FIFO blocking queue with 12 items. It's a LRU uh, um, type of queue. So what I do, well, I'll just show you this color code. Uh, if the remaining capacity is equal to zero, I just remove the last one and offer the new one. So it's very straightforward. Okay, I have the JSON format uh, 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 component here, the, the message transformer. I have the header, and then I get keywords from the configuration file. All right, this basically is the route. This is a Twitter route that actually sends tweets to the browser, all these. So what I do here is I connect using the filter type uh, endpoint, using the event type of connection with Twitter, which brings, which, which gives me the streaming API of Twitter. And I add the keywords that I get from the configuration file or the command line. I process the, the tweets using the statistics uh, and then I filter. 
when this underline here is the uh, exchange coming. It's very uh, uh, crazy, but you get used to it. So uh, the underline means the exchange. So I get the in message inside the exchange, and then I get the object uh, as an instance of status. And then I see if I get media entry entities inside the tweet. Right after, I convert the tweet, the status update, to a my tweet object, which gives just just the user, the text, and the image URL. Uh, then I move to the process of the LRU images to get the last 12 images on memory. So I just offer the body to it. This is this is a functional expression, a lambda expression uh, that Java 7 uh, Java 8 will have now. Then I marshal for JSON and then I send to the website. So here is the send to all again. Uh, and statistics, how do I send that to users? I just give them uh, the statistics every second, marshal to JSON, and there you go. And those first 12 images that I get from the, the browser, as soon as I connect to the page, this is the route that gives that. I get the URL uh, LRU images list. I split that into uh, several exchanges, and then I marshal each one to JSON and then deliver to WebSockets. Then there's a JavaScript on the client side that gets that data and uh, show, uh, show that data on the browser. So uh, I think, what else can I do? Oh, yes. Continuing the presentation. The last thing. So this is the, just the, the what I showed to you. So uh, what I did was connect to search streaming. I filtered tweets that have uh, media. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's sh let me show you the, the enhanced uh, demo with Oracle coherence. So Oracle coherence is a cache distributed cache that is able to store stuff in a crazy way, that's how I describe it. Uh, so here I have instances of, of coherence, uh, one here, one here, another one here. They all talk with each other uh, using UDP, so they know about each other in a, using broadcast uh, communication. So if I shut down this instance, all the other ones get to know that one instance uh, is now down, so if I come with this instance back again, they communicate each other through the, the, the network, and then they start to share the data in a um, concise way. <clears throat> so I'm storing tweets here. If you see, I already have 33,886 tweets stored on memory. So when I was talking about social media and social data, is that we need some uh, some stuff like this to store the data, and if we want to get more data, we can just come up with new in new instances. So then you have more space in memory. Then you can run your code uh, 